This video contains some potentially inflammatory and offensive language, but I assure you I only use it in the context of this uh, particular subject matter. Malcolm X is uh, somebody that has always fascinated me, in particular uh, regard to the way that he taught people to see themselves. He was speaking particularly to African Americans or black people worldwide, um, but I think that his teachings, or at least a certain slant of his teachings can be applied to just about any underclass, any oppressed, submerged people anywhere in the world. He could be talking about Canada's native uh, population. He could be talking about the untouchables, the Harijans, uh, the Dalits of India. Uh, he could be talking about the Roma of Europe. He could be talking about any number of people in that situation. Essentially, what I got when I read Malcolm X, the autobiography of Malcolm X a long time ago, and I still go back to it occasionally, is in very strong language, Malcolm X looked the black man right in the eye and said, only you can decide whether or not you're a nigger. Not the white man, not other black people, nobody can decide that. Because being a nigger is a state of mind. It's a belief that you're nothing. It's a belief you've bought into the portrayal of yourself or your kind as somehow lower or less worthy or inferior to the common run, run of humanity. That is the worst violence uh, visited upon any underclass, any um, race-based or ethnically based underclass on earth. Not only are they despised, uh, persecuted, perhaps um, maltreated, enslaved or whatever, but they come to believe that in one form or another they're just niggers. And Malcolm X said no, we are not. And he explained, I think, in an effective way, in an angry way, how this process had been visited upon so many African Americans in particular. African Americans, many of them, saw themselves completely differently once they'd read uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X and they found in themselves a strength. They, they they didn't know that they had. So many African Americans said that after they'd read the book. I assume that once they'd read the book, they looked themselves square in the mirror and they didn't see a nigger anymore. They saw a human being with dignity just like anyone else. Thank you.